Hello guys, it's Alvaje. I'm back at it again with another video. As you guys can see, I'm doing a Twine Peaks Repair the Shelter at level 100, and I'm going to be doing it solo with two defenders in play. Why am I doing this? Because in Repair the Shelter, whether you build around the shelter or you don't build around the shelter, the same amount of husks are always going to be spawning. In other words, if you're building and Repair the Shelter, you're wasting your materials. And there's a lot of people that play Fortnite Save the World still to this day that are very, very skeptical of that quote-unquote theory. No, it is not a theory. I actually tested this for four hours in a level 109 mission. And throughout my four hours of testing, I realized that whether you build a lot or you don't build anything around the shelter, the same amount of husks are always going to spawn. And I want to showcase that by proving that that's true by soloing this level 100 mission because apparently you know level 100 missions are supposed to be like really really hard not really you know they're not that hard if you know what you're doing but i just want to uh you know showcase that what i am saying is very true and since this isn't a four times mission of course uh not a huge amount of enemies are going to be spawning but again i'm just uh, making this video just to prove a point and uh, like I said, you know, I tested this out on a four time level 94 mission. In other words, a level 109 mission. And for the four hours that I tested it, I realized the same thing. Whether you build a lot or you don't build anything around the shelter, the same amount of us are always going to spawn. I'm going to find all the modules and then I'm going to get back to you guys. Oh, and I just want to let you guys know, you should know this if you watch my 100 tips for save the world video. I am finding these modules very quickly because modules are always 0 to 11 tiles away from each other. Just letting y'all know. Alright, now as this last shelter is installing itself, I'm gonna go over my loadout. I'm using Urban Assault Headhunter. I'm using Urban Assault because I didn't want to use an easier hero to solo this mission with, like for example, uh, an Enforcer Outlander. I have Master Grenadier for the assault damage, and of course I have Swordmaster Ken for the uh, shockwave movement boost. And the only reason why I'm running uh, this guy on my tactical slot, it's because if I need to go from one area of the shelter to the next, I want to have uh, a movement boost so that I can make it, you know, for example, if the shelter is in danger. Now, the biggest uh, misconception that a lot of people have is that if you don't put any protection on the shelter, the lobbers are of course going to take it out. Oh, like, nice. We, we're getting a husk flinger wave. Now, you guys have to keep in mind that for the most part, the lobbers are mostly going to be shooting towards you, or they're going to be shooting towards structures that you have built. As you guys can see, that lobber just shot me, not the uh, shelter that I built. Okay, I get it. You vape, bro. Now, I have my defenders also on the base so if any husk basically get close my defenders are going to take them out and keep in mind i have two sniper defenders in a four player mission you you can have up to four sniper defenders i believe i'm just going to be switching to a sword i had my my obliterator on the third slot because uh i was worried about the shielder husk i mean the shield husk but the shield husks are clearly not going to be an issue. And as you guys can see, the lobbers, they're not even focusing on me at all. They're focusing... I mean, they're not even focusing on the base at all. They're focusing on the... What's this thing called? Uh, on, my, on me, as a player. Where's the mini boss at? I don't even care about the mini boss. Now, of course, if I wanted to get the mini boss loot, I could. But the reason why the mini boss is completely irrelevant is because what's the mini boss going to do? Break my base? I don't have a base. <laughs> so hey mini boss, how you how are you? Oh he's a building blocker too. Oh well. Alright, have fun just roaming around while I uh, just ignore you and take out these husks. Again guys, I wanted to make this video. I need to move on over to this side. I wanted to make this video because I just want you guys to stop wasting your materials because of misinformation. The most terrible thing a Fortnite Save the World player can have is misinformation. And a lot of Save the World players think that at the time of me making this video, you know, maybe they're going to fix it in the future. If they fix it in the future, I'll make a video on it. 
But a lot of Save the World players think at the time of me making this video that they need to be building and repair the shelter. Or look at the mini boss. The mini boss just has no purpose. He's just roaming around. He has no idea what to do with his life. I was going to summon another drone, but I will, I will not be able to do that. Now, the only problem that this mini boss is going to be giving me right now is that he's probably going to be killing my defenders. So now that I think about it, I should probably go kill him. But then again, my defender should be uh, giving him a run for his money. Also, um, let me teach you guys another thing that I have learned by playing Repair the Shelter for, ou for hours upon hours upon hours and actually using this strategy, right? For the most part, there are different types of waves that respawn and repair the shelter. I need to take care of these guys before they get to the base. And I'm actually going to do this so I can take care of these, both of these. There's going to be specific waves of enemies that are going to be spawning. So you're either going to get like a flinger wave, you're going to get a wave that has a lot of mist monsters like flingers and smashers. Or you can just get a wave that's just uh, lobbers and flingers, which is the wave that we got right now. And as you guys can see, look, the lobbers, they're not even, they're not even, uh, you know, shooting towards the base. They're shooting towards me. Because that's what the husks are programmed to do. And now I'm going to take care of this guy. He talks shit about Sharkisha, the defender, so. And look at that. Oh, okay, that husk basically got into the base and damaged it. Just because I wasn't paying attention. Look at that. Even when I'm close to the base, look at the lobbers, see? The lobbers are throwing their projectiles towards me. They're not throwing it towards the base because there isn't any structure that the lobbers can actually shoot at all right so i hope you guys enjoyed this video easily soloing a level 100 repair the shelter with zero building and of course you know i did have my defenders two sniper defenders that basically didn't even do anything except killed a couple of us that got by me keep in mind if you have four people all right in a repair the shelter mission no husk are going to get to the base and you don't even need any defenders either and on four time missions you don't even need defenders either because again next to no husk spawn and repair the shelter whether you build a lot or you don't build anything at all the same number of husk is always going to be spawning and that number is so small that again you don't need to build anything i hope this video cleared up all of the confusion that's around repair the shelter right now and I hope this visual proof finally gave players the factual evidence that they need so they stop wasting those precious mats of theirs. See you guys in the next one and peace out.